Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're going over four reasons the catfish won't bite. Folks, I invite all the people that watch my channel and listen to my podcast to reach out to me and give me questions. And one of the most popular questions I get is, why can't I catch catfish? Now, obviously, everyone's fishing situation varies around the country, so it's a question that is impossible to answer, but I've come up with four things that I think are fairly consistent and good reasons why you're not catching catfish wherever you're fishing. The one thing you'll find with catching catfish is that it's just like buying and selling real estate. It's all about location, location, location. Where you're fishing is a very important part, but when you're there is also just as important. Well, reason number one is probably the most frustrating because you do everything right, you do all your research, you have all your ducks in a row, and you're basically in the right place at the wrong time. Now, what do I mean by wrong time? Well, sometimes it can be the wrong time of the year. Sometimes it can be something as simple as the wrong time of the day. During certain times of the year, certain moon faces, certain weather changes, what's not working for you this morning may be on fire in the afternoon. So with that said, the more time you can put on the water, on the bank, in a boat, the better off you will be. Not only will it perfect your skills as an angler, it may put you there at the right time when the fish are feeding. Now reason number two has to deal with, well, probably one of the most popular questions in the catfish world, and that's catfish bait. Sometimes you can be in the right place with the wrong bait. So what is the right bait or the wrong bait? Well, that's something that catfish anglers are asking continuously. Here's the deal, folks. Catfish eat fish. Their, their life is made up of eating fish and anything aquatic born, whether it be mussels, frogs, crayfish, anything that is in the water. Now, that's not to say that they won't eat a bird or a duck, but the majority of their diet is fish. So with that in mind, if you can get fish out of the body of water that you're fishing in, and if it's legal to do so, those baits are probably your best starting point. Now shad, they're a non-game fish that are pretty much in any water that catfish swim in. The problem with these fish is, generally speaking, you need a cast net and the ability to throw a cast net to catch these fish. While shad are an excellent bait, so are some of the other small fish that swim in the waters that you're fishing in. These can be bluegill, they can be perch. Now, not all places it's legal to use these fish for bait, but where it is legal, they make an excellent catfish bait. But what happens if you're in a hurry? You don't have time to go catch fish, catch bait. What do you do then? Well, if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that I'm a big fan of chicken breast. Chicken in most places is hard to beat as a quick, ready to go, easily accessible catfish bait. So if you need something quick, easy, ready to go, chicken is an easy bait to get and to fish with. Now what about the chicken livers and the pack bait, the stink bait, the hot dogs, all the other concoctions that you've seen out there and I've actually had some videos. Well, honestly, in my opinion, I think if you're trying to find a bait that's gonna work, finding fish from the water that you're fishing in, going with chicken as a quick and easy bait are much better options. If you can get your hands on these baits, you'll be in a much better position to have the right catfish bait in the right place to put some fish on the hook. Now, reason number three is something you'll hear me say in some of my fishing videos that you watch here on YouTube, and that's a time of day feeding cycle. It's similar to the right place at the wrong time, but it doesn't really apply so much seasonally as it does daily. And what this means is sometimes, uh, depending on what's going on with the weather, with the lunar phase, uh, with water release conditions, uh, depending on whether you're fishing on a river or on a lake, certain times of the day, catfish are more apt to bite. Now, I like to think that some of this has to do with the lunar cycle, uh, the same thing that affects the tides uh, in the ocean. And this is a major player when it comes to saltwater fishing. I think this cycle can play out in freshwater. I've had many trips to where we have a window, maybe it's 90 minutes, two hours, three hours, where the fishing is on fire, and then all of a sudden it dries up. 
Now this can be a lunar influence, it can be a light influence, there's a lot of things that come into play. But like I said in reason number one, the more time that you can put on the water, the better off you will be to basically crack the code on when that time of day that the fish are feeding is happening so you can be there. So you may wonder, hey, I've only got so much time, where do I start? My suggestion is to start very, very early. If you gotta pick a window that before sunrise to the first three or four hours, that's when I would be out there fishing. Probably the worst time to be out there is the middle of the day. And reason number four is the one that nobody really wants to hear, and I understand it, and that's the cold hard fact that you just don't have any catfish where you're fishing. Catfish are not everywhere. They are probably one of the most widespread species in the country. They're in a lot of waterways, uh, creeks, rivers, lakes, municipal lakes, small lakes. They can survive just about anywhere there is oxygenated water and a food source, but they're not everywhere. And especially big fish. I get people that not only ask, why can I not catch catfish, but why can I not catch bigger catfish? They're not everywhere, folks. That's the cold hard truth. Uh, it's hard to tell what's in the body of water that you're fishing unless you fish it a lot. Or if you're getting reports from other people that are fishing those water as to what the potential is. Some places, some bodies of water produce big fish. Some don't. Probably most do not. So you kind of have to keep your expectations kind of in perspective when it comes to catching big fish and catching catfish, period. If you have the opportunity to try different places, different bodies of water, I suggest you do that uh, instead of focusing on one place. I know that can be tough for people, uh, especially if you're bank fishing. Access bank fishing is a tough thing. But if you can change bodies of water, you can at least see if your technique is working. If you go to a place and you're catching some fish, you're doing everything right, you go to another place and you can't catch them, it may be that there's just not many fish in there. While some people may think these four reasons are all common sense when it comes to fishing, remember folks, not everybody has been fishing their entire life or fished a lot. And I know a lot of you folks that watch these videos are new to fishing, new to chasing catfish. So I'm trying to give you some good, honest information and feedback on what's working and will not work. The other thing is to reassure you that it's not always you. Sometimes you are doing everything right and the fish are not either there or they're just not cooperating. Well, hopefully you can take these four reasons and apply them to where and how you fish and you can put more catfish on your hook. Keep the questions coming, folks. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're gonna like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. Uh, just watch them both. They're both good.